What's up, you guys? My name is Sweats and Clank. I'm here at Point Blank Music School, Los Angeles. I'm going to play with an Eventide Ultra Tap pedal. Eventide was kind enough to send us some of these pedals and uh, just wanted to test them out. And I've brought an old Casio with me. It's really not a fancy synth. 80s Casio, in fact, pretty cheesy sounding, but I found that using these through effects pedals, particularly guitar effects pedals, you can really get some interesting sounds, textures. Today we've got Eventide's Ultra Tap Delay, and I feel like putting this through some delay is really gonna bring some life to it. In fact, I used um, this Casio quite a bit on my last Ambient album, and run through some pedals, it sounds really nice. I also like to record this and then resample some of these textures that I create. Um, just to give you a, an idea, this Casio sounds, you know, I'll run through a few of the presets so you can see what it sounds like. Uh, pretty cheesy little sounds, you know. Standard piano. Some bells. This Casio does, however, have some cool features such as some built-in um, sound effects, like rain, street sounds, space wars, good stuff like that, right? Anyways, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just dive in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just uh, kind of pull up a sound here, an oboe. And uh, let's turn on the Eventide pedal. I'm gonna activate it. Um, two menus on this pedal, one that work with uh, the mix, uh, actually how much you know delay I'm gonna be adding, the taps, the timing of the delay, the feedback, the spread, and how the delay will taper off and come in. There's a secondary menu on the pedal that I found that you can change the tone, something they call the slurm, which we're gonna play with, and the pre-delay, that means how quickly the delays will rise into the signal. It's also got an interesting chop feature, which I haven't quite figured out yet, but I'm going to play with it as well, and you can mess with the rise and the release of the chops. And then of course we've got a level out and as with all pedals, a tap. So I'm gonna start with just kind of tapping it and activating it. And then I will start playing and just bringing in some of the delay. Back to dry. Some of these delays have a really nice reverb quality to them as well.
I'm going to go through some of the Eventide's guitar pedals and run them through a vintage uh, Korg DW8000 synth. So I'm going to try them out. Um, I haven't practiced or learned them at all. I just programmed a simple arpeggiation pattern here in the Korg, which is very Stranger Things, I must say. So I'm just going to roll with it. And I'm going to just kind of play as I go and start tweaking. We've got the Black Hole pedal, the Micro Pitch pedal, the Tricera Chorus and the ultra tap and they're all uh chained together so i'm just gonna go in and have some fun see what happens like that. Chorus. And there you have it. Quite a jam with uh, even tides, four pedals here, and a simple arpeggiation pattern. Got lost in it, had fun, that's what counts. Great pedals, so much you can do with these. Um, like I said, I just pulled them out of the box, and um, this is the first time I've played with these pedals. The fact that I could just go in and jam like this was pretty phenomenal. Sound quality is great, the build is great. Um, yeah, thanks Eventide. I'm Swetson Clank. Peace.